Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, as you can see, I'm at version 1.7.3 now. Um, we've got a fancy new drop-down console. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's also a bunch of new stuff in this version. Um, scroll up a bit here. Obviously, you can see these commands that are now loaded through Lua scripts. There's now a whole API um, through Lua, so you can access pretty much any of Terraria's functionality and uh, so you can write scripts and custom commands um, for Terraria now. I'll scroll through some of these. Um, scripting language is pretty easy to use. There's in-game documentation, uh, all kinds of help menus and commands that I've written since, you know, I wanted to be able to develop scripts too. I wanted to make it easy. Um, pretty good documentation here. Here's a list of the functions and their arguments as well as their basic uh, functionality as to what they do. Um, there's actually not a lot of functions because um, most of them uh, you use and you can get to pretty much everything about having to do with Terraria from there. Um, I haven't really worked on netcode stuff, uh, so lots of this is still server-side, client-side uh, exclusive. Um, if you look at my last video, you'll see some of the stuff you're still capable of. But yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> believe me, this is powerful as heck. You can do almost whatever you want. Um, through this engine. It's pretty fantastic. Um, as you can see, I've also got banning. Uh, there's a banning system. Kicking, obviously, is included in that. When someone tries to join when they're banned, they'll get a message saying they were banned, as well as the reason why, if you specified one when you banned them. So I can go ahead and uh, ban myself. And I'll have to ban by IP. There we go. Save to the ban list. Then we can do slash ban list. Oh, well, let's go check up on that script, shall we? Hmm, really quick. Shouldn't take too long. Let's see. Cannot concatenate reason. Why is that? That's because it was nil. Interesting. Well, I'll look into that later. I know what's wrong with it. Um, but yeah. So, there's a pretty powerful system to this. Um, it's pretty fantastic. I gotta say, I just have to reinitialize that, I guess. I guess I have to do that before I send 1.7.3 out to everybody that uh, has access to WraithMod. Um, if you guys haven't heard about uh, SL Labs, um, probably, arguably the top server for Terraria right now, um, that's the main people I'm developing this for. You can find me as Wraith in uh, the Fosnet S Labs channel. Um, well, let's go ahead and go do something. Sorry about the lag. My computer's not exactly high-end. Let's see if I can get in. Hey, I'm in. Let's see what the password is. One second, guys. Burnt skin. Okay. Alright. Hey, we're in another world, I guess. Okay, so, looks like there's a blood moon going on right now. I don't know if uh, admin initiated that, but you can start blood moons now um, using Wraith mod. Oh, how I love shooting stuff in this game. So, we can activate god mode. It'll give us unlimited mana. Um, maximum health. We fall. We won't take damage. Um, we can also go ahead and do use time, which will reduce the use time for the gun, so it uh, fires and bursts the now on lots of bullets. A lot of fun to mess with. Okay, you can also do uh, auto use. Most of you guys have seen this stuff already, and that's still broken. When the console's down, it sh you shouldn't be allowed to move your character like that, because it's kind of a pain. Um, so yeah, taking all this stuff out. But yeah, so you guys have seen all that already. Um, in terms of functionality, what all is in the Oh yes, there's the no clip. I don't think that's a command yet. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and just run the script. So now I should be in no clip mode. There we go. Just fly around the map. It's not perfect. It's a little bit buggy, but, you know, that's how it usually is. Sometimes you freeze up like that. 
but yeah, so we can just fly up, fly around, do whatever we want. Um, I've also got uh, Fulbright mode. I think you guys have seen that though. It goes up here. So there we go, we got Fulbright. In the nighttime, uh, it's always a little bit darker. Uh, it's just the way it is. We can also do uh, no range. That will re take the range limit away. So we can just mine wherever. Yeah, I've also got instant pickaxe, so that's pretty nifty. I'm um, at some of the new stuff. Uh, all of this, um, you know, you saw the latest, the last version. Uh, pretty much, you can do whatever you want. You just have to take the time to figure out how it's done uh, in the scripting engine. But yeah, so uh, it's a lot more capable. If you want to see some other uh, stuff that this thing can do, um, it's got all the functionality of the previous versions. Um, when I develop, I like to keep all previous functionality intact if possible. Just carve out the stupid little triangle. That's what I do in my videos. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much. Obviously, you can see the hack items. So you can spawn items at uh, very, very large amounts, but you know, that's, this was in the last video. So that's not new or anything. But yeah, so um, it's now that you can make scripts. Um, if you guys have any ideas or requests of stuff you'd like to see in Terraria, let me know. I'll see if I can come up with it. Uh, yeah, and if you guys have any other ideas for videos, since I know my videos have gotten me a lot of subscribers, okay, maybe not a lot, and some of you hate me for them anyways, but uh, if you guys have any ideas for Terraria videos, I'd be up for doing other kinds of videos other than just showing off uh, pretty sweet hacks, especially this awesome Quake console. Um, I'm pretty proud of this. It's one of the coolest things I've made. Um, you know, that just made me look really bad. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later, and, uh, yeah.